Hi and welcome to a complete collection of tutorials about creating game assets in 3ds Max, Xnormal, NDO2 and DDO. So we're going to be going over uh, the creation process of this model. Uh, we are going to go over every single detail how it was created and we are going to be using 3ds Max, Xnormal, Photoshop, NDO2 and DDO. So first we are going to go over time lapse about modeling such a model in 3ds Max. This is going to be just an overview and the process is being explained in some other tutorials on my YouTube channel so check that out if the time lapse is not uh, detailed enough for you. As we can see here this model is really low poly so it's great for game engines and then we're going to go over how we can uh, UV unwrap such a model in 3ds Max which is really important then we are going to go over creating ambient occlusion map in X normal as we can see here we are also going to go over the creation process of normal map in NDO2 as we can see here we're going to go over creating such out tensions and indentions and this uh, grip detail is also going to be shown and also these uh, diamond parts and this metallic parts. After that we're going to look into how we can convert normal map to ambient occlusion map and combine it with the ambient occlusion map that we created in X normal so we have uh, ambient occlusion for all parts uh, also for the parts that we created in NDO2 which is really important. We are going to go over how to apply material IDs to different parts of our model so we can easily apply materials in DDO. I'm going to be showing two, two ways uh, one way in 3ds Max and other way in Photoshop and in my opinion in this case the Photoshop version is more appropriate because we have all these normal maps uh, parts created in Photoshop and they are really not modeled so in 3ds Max we cannot really apply uh, material ID to these parts that are being created in NDO2 so this is also going to be uh, interesting tutorial to watch after that we are going to go to DDO and create some texture maps as we can see here this is flat texture diffuse map uh, without gloss and without specularity just to show you uh, the detail or the colors that I apply to this model we are also going to go over how we can create gloss and specularity maps as we can see here if we look closely uh, even the dirt parts are being calculated so the specularity and diffuse is being affected as we can see here these diamond parts are going to be really shiny and these metal parts are got not going to be so glossy and also they have some uh, some damage on it so the specularity and glossiness maps calculate that into uh, account we're gonna go uh, over creating glow map as we can see here if we turn the sky we can see these parts are glowing and the diamond parts are glowing even in the dark so this is going to be another tutorial and we're going to end up with something like this a complete model 3ds max then applied an ambient occlusion normal map and texture maps to it and the end result is as we can see here 
so just check out any part of this creation process that you like the links are on the side of this video and I hope you learned something new and you can apply this to your own models please do share these videos subscribe to my channel and till next time bye